I'm gonna go ahead and like finish this shape. I'm gonna hide this. I'm gonna put it in a layer. So here's my shape. So there's a seam all around. Um, notice that the seam Look at this. Um, the seam is like up and down. On the, you know, you can look at it also on, on uh, as an image. You can see the seam is like only on the top part and the bottom part. Okay, that's a little bit of a detailing, a little bit of a more advanced detailing technique. But I'm gonna show it anyways, and you guys can actually try to do it. So I'm gonna go up here. What I will do is I'm gonna select this edge. So what I do is select the model first, right click, hold, select the edge. Now I'm going to select edges around it. So if you double click on these edges and hold down the shift and you keep double clicking, keep double clicking, double clicking, I'm selecting only the top edge part. So those edges I want to bevel. So I'm going to go ahead and say bevel. Options, let's reset the settings. I'm going to use a, a fractional bevel, it's fine. And we can do that. So that's one way. The thing is, see the bevel, it does, it does kind of make it really angled. So maybe that's an, maybe we skip this. Maybe I'm going to undo that. I don't like how it looks. And stop it. And instead of doing the bevel, I just tried it now and I see I don't really like the way it looks. I'm going to abandon that technique and go to another one. I'll say, okay, maybe I should just insert an edge loop. If I insert an edge loop, the geometry is going to stay as way as it is. It's not going to change. I'm just going to add a little bit of here and a little bit of down, down there. So now I, what I can do is like select all these faces. Now I'm going to go to the face mode. So select it. Face. So select one face. I can start selecting all the faces all around, but I can actually do this. I can select this one. If you select one face and hold down the shift and double click the one next to it, it will select a loop. And let me, now I selected all this loop. And I can just extrude it. So let's extrude that and you can see, notice that it, it goes like that. That's kind of what we want, but let's undo that for a second and make it, you know, make it less intense. So I'll do like one thickness that is like 0 0.01. Um, that's too, too small, maybe 0 0.03. That's a little bit better. And once I do that, I'm going to stop for a second. And I can actually, the other thing I want to do is like before I commit to that, I want it also to become a little bit smaller. So I'm going to offset that a little bit. 0 0.01. That's too much. 0 0.001. Or 0 0.00. You have to like play with the numbers here because it's like a tiny area. So, so maybe 0 Five. That's fine. Okay, it looks a little bit awkward though. See that some of them are like pointing upwards and all that. We need to do a little bit of a of a detailed work. We have to go to the vertices and grab the ones that are looking kind of strange. You know, grab all these guys. Two. And move them down. Just move them down. You can also select some of the vertices like that. So that is a little bit of a, you know, just to like sharpen this area. And that's that happens usually on the corners. That's the problem with uh, extruding a general area that has a shape. So you just want to kind of like push them down a little. Oh, wait, this is not. Have to like deselect that. You can actually turn on the wireframe, the x-ray so you can see through. I don't want this, so control deselect and W, move that down. And I can select these guys, 
select selecting you have to like move around a lot and select keep selecting you know. so let's look at this if I press 3 I'm getting a night I'm getting that scene well we want it a little bit sharper though so let's go back so select now I'm gonna do the same thing so like face double click and extrude one more time and do like a little thickness 0 0.01 just a little bit or 0 0.02 that's, yeah, that's it. and I'll go ahead and press 3 that's much better now so now I have if you notice there's like all this seam it gets thicker in the middle that's not a problem you can go out and you can go and press 1 and you just need to go and select the vertices that you need to to, uh, to edit so if you go here you know, the x-ray see these vertices here you can select these these guys and move them up a little bit so you can make it a little bit thinner the other on the other side as well these guys and these guys Turn off the x-ray and I'm going to do the same thing down here face one all the way extrude and I think I did 0 0.03 no 0 0.04 and I did a little bit of a, an offset 0 0.005 I kind of remember the numbers a little bit and Again, I'm going to do the same exact kind of. Uh, in this case, I'm going to move them the other way around. So this, these guys here, and let me just redo that. Because I'm going to turn on the X-ray. It's better to do that so you can actually see. this up can do the same from the other side I'm selecting all these extruded vertices and I'm moving them up turn off the x-ray over here now if something looks strange again you know like this always you can you can move things around it's like more like a, a you know you're sculpting in 3d now so it's like you can actually move this stuff around uh one more and uh select the, all these faces one more time and do another extrusion and this time I'm going to do a super small thickness, 0 0.01. That's it. Okay, let's look at this. So this was has these two seams. And now we want to sharpen certain areas. So this one looks like we it needs... See that? That's like sharp. So to sharpen, remember we add edges. So if I press 3, this is very soft here. So if I go ahead and use an insert edge loop tool. So if I add an edge loop to over an edge over here, notice that it's going to start sharpening. Another one over here, another one over here, and one over here. I press three. I got this. The problem that we have is this. We don't like that, what's happening here. This is easy. We just need to go here and select these vertices and move them a little bit away from each other.
until you notice that there's no problem. Let's see, it's like I'm reducing that kind of problem. problem there. Do that from the other side. So whenever a lot of things are close together, they create like uh, edge you know, sharpness. So you want to just move it around. Grab these guys. You can always press F and also turn on the X-ray. So you can actually turn these away. And you can select all these and sort of put them together. I can show you uh, a be better way to. Uh, fix this. We could potentially select this edge. Uh, see it's like kind of like has a kink here so we need to like select uh, these vertices. If you go this is the you go to the top view and let's fix that from the top view so you can see the edge flow is like a problem so we need to kind of move these. And that's done. Of course, we can always correct it now. So that's like a little bit more detail than you know, I'm expecting you guys to bring. I don't want the scene. You don't have to bring the scene. But we'll have the video for once you guys get it, get the shaping. On week five, you can go and try the scene. And um, let me just... Um, I just deleted them, so this is a little bit better now. So I don't want the seam, I only want the shape, so for both cushions. Uh, so let me, so I'll, you have the first one, the second one. So go until the seam, look at the video and try to shape things. Once you get better with the shaping, you can be a 3D sculptor. You can actually make anything you want, start, you know, making any complicated shape but this is a nice one because it's just a cushion it's not like something that has ears and noses and tentacles and so it's like a simple shape you just have to kind of like round it out that's a very nice technique um, so let me uh, finish this video